In this video, we're going to focus on how we can add up as many grid lines as we want. We can control that and also control the step size on here. So let's start to explore how to do this. So let's explore how to add more grid lines in the scales in Chart.js. So the first thing what we need is we need to go to Chart.js3.com getting started to get the default code. So this link you can also find in the description box below the video. So we're going to scroll down here and just copy this entire chunk of code. And if you want to understand what this code does, watch this video that explains it all. So then I will just paste it in here. And once I did that, I want to get here the very top, the title, and then just place this here, save that, there you are. So now we have a basic bar chart. And what we want to do now is you want to increase here the multiple steps, or at least multiple grid lines here. So if we scroll down now, and we're going to look for the scales. By default, you can do this method also on the x-axis. But of course, because this here is works with what we call a Cartesian axis, or specifically here with a category, it will not make any sense, and it's probably not possible. But if you would have a scatter chart with numbers here below, in that case, it would be possible. So that's why I'm going to work only on the y-axis. And then here, I'm going to put a comma, and then I'm going to say here, the ticks. So I want to focus on the y-axis in the scales in the y-axis on the ticks specifically, which is an object in itself. And then what I want to do here is, for example, I want to change the step size. Let's make the step size 0 0.5. Save that. Refresh. And now you can see here, well, it looks like it's adjusted. Well, it is adjusted, but not correctly. As you can see here, it will only go to 1.5 and have an incremental 1.5, which is fine. But of course, not what we want. So how do we do then the other item? Or why is this blocking? Well, first of all, it calculates what would be readable. And if there's too many tick lines, in that case, it will not be readable anymore. But we want to overrule that. So overruling that, we can do the following. We can say here, the max ticks limit. So this is set by a certain limit, how they calculate it by based on a formula of minimum plus maximum and then they divide it in x amount usually it's about 11 to 10 ticks by default in this case here it has a bit more maybe uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 as you can see here, this is 13 and that's probably the max what it can handle so what i want to do now is i want to say the max ticks limit will be 50 if i save this refresh you can see here now it works nicely so this is one of the ways, because this makes it dynamic. It will just calculate what is the max amount. For example, maybe you want to force it even. You want to force it absolutely. What we can do here then is do a count. And the count forces it to 50. So instead of max 50, it will be forced as 50. Then if we save this, then refresh here. And you can see here now, there are many, and it's probably very hard to, to read. But you will see here, we like 0 0.4, 0 0.7, etc., etc until it hits up 18. But of course, this is not necessary. I would say the max ticks limit, you can do this even on 100, doesn't matter so much. It would just calculate what would be suitable based on our step size, or we wanna calculate, it will calculate how many lines it needs to make based on the step size here, comparing with the zero and the top point. And that's basically how you can add more lines in your grid line. So if you like this video, I maybe for example, if you have multiple grid lines, you want to color a specific grid line to highlight a certain line. Well, in this case, I have a video for you as well to consider, which is how to change the color of one grid line in Chart.js. We'll show you exactly how to highlight a specific grid line in the chart. 